Hey, and welcome to another video here on cloudwoods.net and, and my YouTube channel. And this is a very special video because on March 31st, it's World Backup Day. And here at Cloudwords, you may know that we are all about backup and particularly backup to the cloud. But why is that? We're going to explore in, in this video. On the other hand, we think that people not only should back up their files on work backup day because we think every day should be world backup day. So you should make sure you set a backup strategy for yourself and then stick to that strategy. And it really doesn't have to be complicated with different backup sets and so forth. It, it's really as easy as three, two, one that you should use for your backups, starting with a local backup in your home or office or wherever your files are, and then exploring other options. So here in this video, uh, I will show you three of my favorite methods of, uh, of backing up files. Now, first, Let's start with the classical example, which is an external hard drive that we have here. This is the, the this is an external hard drive. It's a pretty big one um, because it's just a normal hard drive that sits inside a case and uh, as you would use it internally in your computer. But this case makes it available to a standard USB uh, connector that you can see maybe here. It probably is not going to focus well, but this is the USB connector. Uh, and I use this for everyday purposes. I have a four terabyte hard drive in it, uh, partitioned into two ter terabyte versions. One is for backup and the other partition is for uh, just regular files uh, that I need to free my main computer off of. And then there is a secondary backup option, which is the network attached storage uh, device. I use a Synology Disk Station 212 Plus. Granted, it is a little lower, older model, but it works just as well. And inside the Synology Disk Station, there are basically two four terabyte hard drives that I have here. And those hard drives uh, are mirrored, uh, set up in a RAID fashion, uh, what the experts call it. And what it does is I back up my Macintosh computers with Time Machine to those to the network attached storage device and I mirror the one hard drive to the next. So whenever one hard drive fails, I always have a backup copy in place. And that's my Time Machine backup for my main uh, workstations here at the office. Now, the beauty is a NAS also is network enabled. So you can just have it uh, in another room in your office. You don't have to have it like connected to your computer. It's just sufficient to connect it to your network because here the back, there is a network cable connector where you just plug it in and then it gets uh, enabled inside your network. And also, if you like, you can make it available from the outside so you can access your files from wherever you are. And Synology comes with a service called CloudStation, which works in a Dropbox like fashion, more or less. Now, these are like the two methods that you can use to back up your files locally, external hard drive and network attached storage device. If you can afford it, I would always go with a network attached storage device because it's basically an external hard drive on steroids. It's it's more intelligent. It gives you more options. You can also serve your media and more things with it. And we're going to cover how NASs work in future videos. And um, on the other hand, and this is what we have talked a lot about in the last couple of months here on YouTube and on cloudwoods.net is online backup services. Now, since it's online backup day, there are a couple of good deals available that you can check out right here on online backup services where you can save up to 50%. And I really highly recommend you check it out if you haven't already. Now, full disclosure, if you sign up for one of our links with one of our links, we get a small commission at no additional cost to you. But you can check out those deals right here. Now, um, an online backup service is different from a cloud storage service like Dropbox or Sync.com, for example, because a backup service mirrors your hard drive. And it's really important to understand this, uh, this difference. Uh, the mirroring process allows you to continuously backup all your uh, relevant and important files to the cloud without having to look at it or dragging and dropping uh, folders, files and folders into one particular folder that you need to set up uh, in advance. So if you have a cloud storage service that uh, does syncing, I would uh, highly recommend you sign up for sync.com, which is very secure, much more secure than Dropbox. And I have a review right here. And there are online backup services that you can check out, as I said, on our deals page for World Backup Day. Now, the problem is with online backup services, they want to do like 
everything. So they say, hey, we also do synchronization. At least some services do that. However, my experience is not very good with the synchronization part of those backup services. And therefore, I would go with a standalone syncing solution and then also purchase a backup solution. And the good thing is it's not really expensive. You can get unlimited online backup for only $5 per month and file synchronization for a couple of terabytes for maybe $10 a month. So you have a good solid solution for maybe $10, $15 uh, per month for your personal and even for your business files. So also make sure to check out our great infographic that we have on World Backup Day uh, that talks a little bit about backup statistics, how to backup your files, the three to one backup strategy, uh, and more interesting stats and facts around Backup Day that I would highly encourage you to share with your audience or with anybody who is interested in backing up their files. And to be honest, who isn't? So. This is uh, the video for World Backup Day on CloudWords.net. I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you do, please give it your thumbs up and share it with your audience, friends, and family. I'm Mauricio from CloudWords, and we're going to see us in the next video. Bye-bye.